Hello guys, once again welcome to a brand new science episode of Feb TV Sri Lanka. Today I am going to discuss the fourth chapter Newton's laws of motion, great in science. By the way, I hope you guys will enjoy this video up to the very end. So, let's get started. Newton's laws of motion, great in science fourth lesson. Nature of forces and its effects. force is a vector quantity because it has a magnitude and a direction and the other quantity related to this quantity is e scalar quantity by exerting forces on objects many changes can be made to objects and those changes are can change the direction of a moving object can change the shape of an object moving objects can be stopped objects at rest can be moved so let's discuss about our first topic newton's first law our first law until an unbalanced force is applied on it body is at rest remains stationary and bodies in motion continue move at uniform velocities this is newton's first law and let's read it again until an unbalanced force is applied on it bodies at rest remain stationary and bodies in motion continue move at uniform velocities there is a question and when a passenger is standing in bus without holding he tends to go forward on applying sudden brakes explain the reason so the reason or the answer for this question is since his speed was contact with the bus's speed the force is extended to the upper part of the body of the passenger so there is a chance to fall forward and i have another question why is it advised drivers to wear seat belts when they drive fast the answer for this question is we can prevent from falling forward when applying brake Newton's second law The acceleration of a body is directly proportional to the unbalanced force acting on it while it is inversely proportional to its mass This is Newton's second law and let's read it again. The acceleration of a body is directly proportional to the unbalanced force acting on it while it is inversely proportional to its mass. Based on the above law following equation can be derived. That means based on this law we can make this equation f equal ma F means unbalanced force, M, e, M means mass, and A e is acceleration. F equal M A. Unbalanced force equal ma mass into acceleration. Okay, guys, let's discuss the activity four point one, and I'll I will write the answers, and you can check your answers too. If a force of 6 newton is applied on a body of mass 4 kg moving at a uniform velocity in the direction of its motion find the resulting acceleration so the equation is f equal ma and we have the force as 6 newtons we need to find the acceleration 4 kg into a we need to divide both sides by 4 kg and the acceleration is 1.5 
मेस माइनस टू If the above force is applied in the direction opposite to the direction of motion of the body, find its deceleration. This acceler this acceleration and deceleration are both equal, and we can write the answer as deceleration equal one point five meters per square. Newton's third law. For every action, there is a equal and opposite opposite reaction. In here, both actions and reactions are forces. They are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Some instances where Newton's third law is applied are given below. Rowing a boat. Action: force applied by the oar on water backwards. Reaction: the force exerted by water on the boat forward. Okay this is our final topic let's talk about momentum the equation to find momentum is p equal mv and this p means momentum m means mass and v is velocity the momentum is a measure of how difficult it is to stop the motion of a moving object The momentum is a measure of how difficult it is to stop the motion of a moving object. These are two factors related to momentum. They are mass and velocity. The factors related to momentum are mass and velocity. Product of mass and velocity is expressed as moment momentum. Product of mass and velocity is expressed as momentum. P equal m into v is momentum. No, P means momentum. So mass into velocity equal momentum. The mass of a motor car is 800 kilograms and find its momentum when it is moving at a velocity of 5 meters per second. The equation is P equal m v that means momentum equal ma mass into velocity and we need to find the momentum equal 800 kilograms into 5 meters per second. So the final answer is four thousand kg ms minus. The mass of an object is six hundred grams, and find its momentum when it is moving at a velocity of five meters per second. We need to express this mass as kilograms always. We can't put it as grams. So let's solve this. P equal m v is the equation, and we need to find the momentum. The momentum is three kilograms. Three kilogram meters per second. A certain object has a mass of two hundred grams, and if it moves with a velocity of four meters per second, what is the momentum of that object? P equal m v, and we need to find the momentum. Thousand two two. Oh, ms minus one to fifty and four five. So our final answer is zero point eight kg ms minus one. The momentum of a moving object is six kilograms. The momentum of a moving object is six kg ms minus one, and find its velocity if it has be has a mass of five hundred grams. P equal m v, and we need to find the velocity. Equal to zero point five kilograms because five hundred grams is equal to zero point five kilograms. 
to be we need to divide this 0.5 by both sides and we can get the final velocity or the answer as 12 ms minus this is our final topic and let's get into it mass and weight The mass of an object is the amount of matter in it. The weight of an object is force acting down that object. Therefore, weight is measured by newtons. Mass is measured by kilograms. Weight is always a force acting downwards towards the earth. It is measured by the following equations. Weight equal mass into gravitational acceleration. This G letter is gravitational ac acceleration. The normal ac gravitational acceleration in earth is 10 ms minus 2 and you need to remember this 1 kg is equal to 10 newtons this is very useful 1 kg is equal to 10 newtons the mass of an object is 60 kg and what is its weight i told you that 1 kg is 10 newtons and 60 kilograms 10 into 60 and that means 600 newtons what is the momentum of an object of mass 10 kilograms and moving at a velocity of 4 meters per second p equal mv we need to find the momentum 10 kilograms into 4 meters per second and the final answer is 40 kg ms the mass of an object is 750 grams at a certain instant its velocity is 8 meters per second what is the momentum at this instant p e equal mv and 700 divided by 1000 into 8 ms minus 1 125 and if we divide 750 by 125 we can get the answer as 6 kg ms minus 1 so thanks for watching this video and if you have any problem leave a comment and if you like this video put a like and put a comment too don't forget to subscribe so bye bye